this is Mr. Clark and I wanted to show you this quick video on portraits. There's a lot to learn about drawing the face but there's a few important things that can help you as you work on your portrait assignment. So first of all, you want to understand the basic shapes of the face. And to start out, you have the head shape, which is sort of an oval egg shape. You have the eye shapes, which are half circles. The nose shape, which is similar to a triangle. And the mouth shape, which again can be a half circle. And this is a very simple, basic idea of the shapes of the face. But what I wanted to show you is that you start out with these basic shapes. The head, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And if you get those in the right places, then your drawing of a person is going to look like a person and hopefully like the person that you're trying to draw. So just showing you here how this realistic looking face fits into where I placed these shapes. So I'm going to show you this drawing I did of the face that I just showed you. Starting from the simple shapes and building up um, some things to remember about the shapes. Like I said, the, the head is an oval shape, kind of like an upside down egg. The eyes are circles, but they have eyelids over them. So a lot of times they look like half circles. The nose is a triangle shape. And then after you have the shapes in the right place, Everything else is just adding details. So here you see I'm, I'm adding the details, building up this face. So instead of just shapes now, it looks like a person. Alright, now what I'm going to do I believe you all have an assignment to do a portrait of an explorer. I think you guys are doing Texas Explorers. This is either Lewis or Clark. Not sure which one. Um, but I decided I would show you an example of a portrait. One thing that's helpful is to trace the basic shapes of a person's face. so that you have a good foundation to start drawing your face. So as you can see here, I'm just drawing those basic shapes I talked about along with the hair shape and the ear shape there. But there's the oval eyes, the shape of the head, the triangle nose, his mouth is closed so it's just a line. And then I tried to draw as the best that I could those same shapes on my drawing. So here there I have the basic shapes of this explorer space. And when you draw those basic shapes you want to draw them lightly on your paper. 
Now I'm going to look at my <clears throat> photograph here and I'm going to draw more detail onto those basic shapes. Now that I have the shapes in about the right place, once I add the details, it should look a lot like the person that I'm drawing. Either Lewis or Clark. I should have looked up which one it was, but I'm not sure. So here we go. I put his nose in there. He's got that straight nose with a little bit of a bump in it when it gets to the eyes. Put his spiky hair on there. Try to put the shadows and the shading in the right place. And if I got those first shapes in about the right place, once I start adding all the details, you start to see this face emerge from my drawing. And I think it looks pretty similar. Pretty good likeness. So again, here's the basic shapes. There's the one I traced on the left and the one I drew on the right. And then here's my final drawing next to the photograph. Or maybe that's a painting. It's hard to tell with some of the old pictures, whether they're pictures or paintings. But it's a pretty realistic painting or drawing, if it was a painting or drawing. A lot of you will probably, probably be looking at paintings or drawings, but if you can work from a photograph, that's usually good. Alright, so one more thing I wanted to show you. I love drawing caricatures. So, caricature is basically taking the shapes of a person's face and exaggerating them. So, taking what they have, making observations. To me, his head looks kind of narrow and pointy. Sometimes it's, it's what it feels like more than what it looks like. But he's got a wide strong jaw, so it, maybe that made his head look a little pointy to me. His head and his spiky hair compared to his jaw looks kind of pointy, so I gave him a big jaw and pointy hair, pointy head, his big sideburns in there. He has a pretty prominent nose, so I'm gonna make his nose nice and strong like it is in the picture. His eyes are pretty small compared to his nose. <coughs> I'm gonna move his mouth up a little bit because he's got a pretty good sized chin there. And there's my basic shapes. And again, just like with the portrait, now with my caricature, once I have the right shapes in the right place, I'm going to start adding some details. So, here we go with the caricature of Lewis or Clark. I'm going to say it's Lewis. I'm going to guess. So, once again, it's just looking at the portrait or the photo that you're drawing and trying to draw the details how you see them, put the shadows in the right place. And here we have there's the shapes, there's the detail, shapes of the portrait. Shapes of the portrait, detail of the portrait, shapes of the caricature, detail of the caricature. I'm going to add a little more detail on my caricature here. Darken things up a little bit so it stands out good. Oops. 
remember you want to start light and get darker as you draw. Put the final touches on Mr. Lewis or Clark here. Mr. Lewis will say. And now we have the final portrait of our explorer and the final caricature. Hopefully they both look like him. One's just more exaggerated. To me, the caricature is a little more fun. But it's just a personal taste. So there's a quick lesson on portraits. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps a little bit. Remember, look for those basic shapes first. Once those are in the right place, then you can add the detail. And I can't wait to see your drawings. Have fun.